Science. Rordy Kauf was paralyzed from the waist down while fighting for the Israeli army. Since 1988, he's used a wheelchair to get around. Two years ago, he became the first person to test the Rewalk, a revolutionary bionic exoskeleton which allows him to stand, walk, sit and even climb stairs via a remote control on his wrist. For Rordy, it means he can greet the world eye to eye. I want to tell you about uh, my daughter. First time he's saying me to stand, he's, he's telling me, Father, you're told. Makers of the robotic trousers Israeli firm Argo Medical Technologies say while it's already in use in some rehabilitation centers, a personal version to be worn at home should be available by the end of the year. Largely controlled by sensors on the upper body, the device takes a few sessions to perfect. To learn, like uh, learn it about a bicycle. Uh, first it's uh, hard and uh, after that it's easy. Not only is daily life harder in a wheelchair, but paralysis is about more than losing the ability to walk. People with spinal cord injuries suffer from not getting the natural exercise walking provides. They lose bone mass and are at risk of sores, muscle spasms and inhibited blood flow. But the cost at around 45,000 euros places it beyond most people's reach. The average person who's on benefits, as a lot of our spinal injury members are, um, no, they wouldn't be able to afford that. The only way they would be able to use that is if there was a hospital or a, a centre or somewhere that had one and they could go and use it. But for Rodi Kauf, at least, the ability to walk again is priceless.